So today I wanted to do something a little different here on my channel, which is basically do a book haul. Recently, especially since the summer's coming up, I've been really into buying books so that I can like stack them up for the summer so I can kind of keep myself occupied during the summer because you can only watch so many episodes on Netflix before you want something a little different. So what? I have quite a few books that I'm going to show you here today. The first set of books, I actually don't know what's in here. I'm not even going to lie. But I ordered these books from thriftbooks.com. That's pretty much where I get the majority of my books if I order them. Pretty much the only place I get them online. And also, if I get them in person, I usually get them from Goodwill or um, Garage Sales or something. That's pretty much the only place I get my books. So I'm just going to open this package because they come packaged like this. I have gotten like different colors before and thrift books it generally gives you free shipping when you spend up to $10. So that's around like three or four books which I have four here today that I ordered and I'm going to show you. This first book here is the Girl Guide, The Girl's Guide to Being a Boss and it looks like this. Valuable lessons, smart suggestions, and true stories for succeeding as the chick in charge. I like reading a lot of, just I guess for reference, I like reading a lot of self-help books. I like reading a lot of fiction books. I read, I pretty much read anything basically. Next I got this Diet Doodle Diary. I saw this on Instagram. Somebody had posted it and I was like, ooh, that seems interesting. It's basically like a diet diary. Just basically, which you can record your small but significant slimming triumphs. And it has like a bunch of different fun little doodles to draw in. I think it's good to use on like your little weight loss journey. It's called The Circle by Dave Eggers. I don't know what it's about. This book is, it's a fiction book for one, and it's basically, it says, when May Hollard is hired to work for The Circle, the world's most powerful internet company, she feels like she can give an opportunity of a lot of times. So it's about a girl who's hired for some, some company, and I guess she just, like, goes through stuff. This is one that I saw somewhere on Instagram, I'm pretty sure, and I was like, ooh, that sounds interesting. So I went to their books and bought it. And this last book I'm excited about, it's a self-help book, self a self-help book and it is organize your mind organize your life train your brain to get more done in less time i think this is really fun to read i'll read this probably more towards the end of the summer when i'm getting ready to go to the next school semester so that i can like be more organized for the school semester i definitely need to like work on being more organized because i'm like an unorganized <sighs> little roach so next book those are all the books that i got from thrift books this time now i'm going to go into some other books that i've got oh gotten over time this book is another book i'm currently reading i read more than one book at a time like i read like five books at a time but this is confessions of ugly stepsister i got this one at goodwill and i really was excited when i saw this because it's basically it's written by the author of wicked gregory mcguire and uh, um i'm sure i said that wrong but and it's basically about the story of cinderella but it's told from the can't talk it's told from the stepsister's perspective and i thought that that was interesting because i really um love like the movie maleficent and i know that that's kind of like a different perspective of like a classic type of scenario and so i wanted to read this one it's kind of it's set in the 17th century i'm pretty sure yeah in the 17th century so it's like a little different word wise but it's still interesting i actually have what two two more advanced copies this one in my hand i'm about to show you now that i got from goodwill and one of them i'm really excited but this one is The Mockingbird. It's an advanced reader copy, like I said. And it's basically, but I'm pretty sure this book is out by now. If it's at Goodwill, I'm pretty sure you can buy it. And it's basically the story of a girl who gets um, sexually assaulted. And then she has to go up against her school. 
I'm gonna read the back of it. So when Alexis is date raped during her junior year, she has two options to stay silent and hope that someone helped her, or enlist the Mockingbirds, a secret society of students dedicated to righting the wrongs of the student body. So that seemed interesting and I will read that at one point. Next I am I've been iffy about showing this book because I don't know about it but I got this from Goodwill so it was also by the way I'm not sure I mentioned but all of the soft cover books at Goodwill are 99 cents all the hard cover books at Goodwill are $1.99 I'm not sure if it varies per Goodwill but that's what I pay at my Goodwill um this I got from Goodwill as well and it is the book Columbine so I bought it because it just immediately caught my attention but not like in a good way obviously but I actually did read this or like try to read it it's basically kind of sort of like a just a play by play of the Columbine massacre and it's not really my favorite you know I don't really want to know how to read that so I didn't finish it but I don't know I'm probably going to like give it a bit sell it or donate it or something because it's not really my my you know cup of tea but I thought it, it caught my attention at the time. And if you're into that, into that type of stuff, like if you may be doing like a project or something, or you're like, I don't know, doing a paper or something about it, then that's definitely a really good resource because it really goes, like you can see how thick it is, it really goes into depth about the shootings, but it's just like, it's not something that I would read like for fun. Next, lastly, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last book. I got this book and it is Sarah Desson, The Moon and Noor, and it is a signed copy. I'm so excited. And I got this for 99 cents at Goodwill. Like, you can't tell me that I wasn't excited because I was so excited. And I actually haven't read this Sarah Desson book, The Moon and Noor, and so I'm excited to read it. So that's pretty much all the books that I have. If you like this type, these types of videos, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. And I will see you guys later. Bye.